Shock is defined as the drop of blood supply to the bodily tissue, meaning that the body cells don't get enough blood which supplies them the necessary energy. The symptoms that we shall see in a person who has entered a shock are rapid pulse and breathing, low blood pressure, pale skin and cold skin. The more severe the shock, the more severe the symptoms will be. There are a couple of problems that can lead to shock. A problem with the amount of blood in the body, a problem with the diameter of the blood vessels and a problem with the heart. We will start with the first problem, which is also the most common. This shock is called hypovolemic shock and it's caused by a drop of liquid volume in the body as a result of dehydration or bleeding. In this situation, it is called hemorrhagic shock. In this situation, we want to return the liquids to the patient, either by infusion or by drinking water if possible. The second type of shock is caused by a problem with the diameter of the blood vessels. This is a situation where the blood vessels expand to an extreme size. As a result of that, the blood pressure will drop and there won't be a proper blood supply to the cells. There are three types of shocks which are included in this definition. The first of them, anaphylactic shock. It is caused by an extreme allergic reaction and causes the expansion of the blood vessels. In this case, we will see swelling. The second type is septic shock, which is caused by infection. It is caused by expansion of blood vessels due to infection and will usually come along with high body temperature. The third type is neurogenic shock. This type of shock will happen due to an injury in the head or the spinal cord that will cause a disturbance in the nerves of the blood vessels. The blood vessels in the place of the injury or below will expand and the blood pressure will drop drastically. Due to this, we will see local swelling and a slow pulse. The last type of shock is caused by a heart problem. This is called cardiogenic shock, an injury in the heart that will hurt the blood supply to the rest of the body. This type of shock can be caused by myocardial infraction, commonly known as heart attack, pneumonary contusion, heart arrhythmia and pneumothorax and more. The treatment is changed according to the type of shock, but the patient will always be sent to hospital.